Today on TQA Weekly, I talk about wired versus wireless, which is faster. This is TQA Weekly. I'm the host, Steve Smith, aka Z Axis. If ever you have any questions, comments, suggestions, and or stories, just go and email me at ask at tqaweekly.com. Go to my website, tqaweekly.com, and use the contact form. Or if you're on a website watching this video right now, use the comments box on this page. And of course, this episode of TQA Weekly is brought to you by ProXPN. And ProXPN is a virtual private network that allows you to use the internet the way it should be, anonymously and without oversight. For your 20% off your brand new ProXPN account, go to proxpn.com slash podcast and use the coupon code TQAWEE. So for the majority of us, we have wired and wireless hybrid networks allowing us to use our tablets and laptops and cell phones, PlayStations, Xboxes, Apple TVs, Roku's, and a whole bunch of other crazy stuff in both wired and wireless paradigms, basically allowing us to connect to the internet any way we want, anywhere we want in the house, but which one is faster and why? That's actually the question that is more important. It's not enough to explain why, uh, which is faster. We need to explain why. And this is what today's episode is all about. And for those who love show notes, tqaweekly.com slash se3ep45 will bring you the show notes with the sources. So a little bit of background history. The RJ45 cable, the heart and soul of the network, what allows us to connect computers together, used to have support 10 megabits per second of connectivity. This had to be changed and upgraded and it was provided by somebody figuring out that by turning two cables inside a connector, we were able to boost the signal up to 100 megabits per second. Go figure. And then at one point, we finally attained the gigabits of speed, which allows us to connect even faster in our networks. Unfortunately, since most of us don't connect internally to other computers in our network, we tend to connect to our ISP instead. This is literally not worth your time. Anything above 100 100 megabits per second on your home network wired if you're only using the internet for this, is no actual speed increase for you. You can only take advantage of what the ISP is ready to give to you. If you had Google Fiber or Equal, you can take advantage of that speed. Otherwise, there's really no point having it. The same holds true for wireless technology. So there is an 802.11 a, which is like 54 megabits per second, but the range was so small that it was not actually used that much. So most people start at 802.11b, which only had 11 megabits per second of connectivity. Then we move up to G and then on to our current N, which goes anywhere from 54 to 600 megabits, theoretical megabits per second of speed theoretically now this is significantly faster than 802.11b which was actually the norm at the time since it had a greater range unfortunately like i said before the higher speeds don't give you any benefit whatsoever if your isp is giving you a slower speed so for those that only use the internet with this there's no actual benefit for you in fact if you just like watching youtube videos As long as you have a minimum of two megabits per second downstream, you are able to watch YouTube. So what does this mean for you? Well, like I just said, if all you're interested in is YouTube videos and you don't connect inside your network, this means jack diddly squat to you. But if you are the type who has NAS servers, multiple different computers, and you like sharing contents between other devices, this might actually be more important to you. So for those who want the reliability of signals, who want absolutely faster speeds and the ability to transfer stuff on a whim, wired connections are currently, and I'll explain why, currently the way to go. For those who want the mobility, as opposed to 
fixed positions and you want to use your laptop and have access to all your data, wireless would be for you. But why would you prefer to have a wire connection? It's just faster, but why? So for those who want faster speeds and want to know why it's faster, the RJ45 cable combined with a wired network takes advantage of something known as full duplexing. Full duplexing is bandwidth running in both directions equally and without delay or buffering. This is the exact same thing as your typical city street with traffic moving in both directions. Wireless connections use half duplexing and imitate full duplexing through the use of, hold on, time divisional duplexing which means it uses a timer to allow content to move in either direction. For those who still don't understand that, think of those annoying times you had to deal with construction workers on either end of a street telling you when you can pass. And when you would pass the second one, they would allow another car to pass to go to the other end. Imagine these cars are now packets. That is time divisional duplexing. This is what makes it possible for wireless routers to give the illusion of full duplexing while only having half duplexing technology inside. So what would it take to make wireless faster? Well, first we need to drop the time divisional duplexing, the imitation full duplexing. We also need to make the signals different and by different, I mean use a different spectrum make sure that the channels do not overlap. And we also need to take advantage of either full duplexing in the antenna arrays, which probably not gonna happen, or we take a page out of the cell phone and use two different antennas, one to send and one to receive. This imitates full duplexing by having two half duplexing signals but that only run in one direction. This is what makes all of these higher end radios work and make it possible to have instantaneous conversations between other sets of people. That is what it would take to make our internet a lot faster. Another fact that you may wanna know, wired networks can actually be slowed down by the wireless radio. So for those who wanna maximize on their speeds, if you do not have wireless technology in your network, turn the radio off. That will actually speed you up. Next week, I'll be talking about network address translation and how it applies to your network and why it keeps all the bad guys out. Now let's talk about the advertiser on this show, Pro XPN. More, now more than ever, your online freedom and privacy are under threat. Governments and ISPs want to control what you can or cannot see while keeping a record of everything you do. Plus, that free Wi-Fi at the coffee house or airport terminal is seriously putting you at risk. Your passwords and other sensitive data are being intercepted by anybody who absolutely wants it and you just don't want any of this. And of course, we've got the NSA, the FBI, and other governments around the world sniffing your traffic, recording everything you're doing on the internet, and we want none of this. ProXPN is a global VPN that works with almost any internet connection, creates a secure, encrypted tunnel to which all your online data passes back and forth. Any online application can work with ProXPN, including your web browser, email, file sharing, and instant messaging programs. ProXPN keeps everything you do online hidden from prying eyes, disguising your physical location, and giving you unfeathered access to any website or online service, no matter where you live or travel to. Complete online privacy with a 20, 48-bit encryption key and 5, 12-bit encryption tunnel works with OpenVPN or PPTP you choose. Protect yourself against your country's six strikes law and bypass internet filtering, blocked websites, and geographical restrictions for internet content and online video with worldwide servers available in the US, UK, Asia, and more. ProXPN software for Windows and Mac offer advanced controls allowing you to select the programs and ports you want to anonymously route through. ProXPN also works with your iOS, Android, 
BlackBerry or Windows Mobile phone, allowing you to use your data plan or public corporate Wi-Fi with complete and total privacy on a go, no app required, and you have an amazing 24-7 customer support. So remember my show when you go to sign up, go to proxpn.com slash podcast for more information and sign up. TQA Weekly watchers and listeners also get a free 30-day risk-free trial just for using our promo code. And of course, ProXPM Premium accounts are normally $9.95 a month or $74.95 for the entire year. You've got a special offer with using the code TQAWEE gives you 20% off the lifetime of your account. Just for being one of my subscribers, you get 20% off for the lifetime of your account. Have a great day. Thank you for watching and bye bye. Thank you for listening to TQA Weekly. Show your support by liking this episode, subscribe to get our latest episodes as they come out, and share with friends and family who may benefit from such a show as this. You may send us your questions, comments, suggestions, and or stories to ask at tqaweekly.com. For our show notes, links to our Android application, alternate means of subscribing to our show, and information on joining our weekly newsletter, head over to tqaweekly.com. Stay safe and online, and have a great day.